Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. And in this video we will be speaking about the failed clutch master cylinder. Just to explain where in the vehicle you can find this part, imagine this is the firewall between the engine bay which is right here. So this part you can find in the engine bay and this part coming here is underneath your dashboard where your pedals are and it connects here to the clutch pedal. These clutch master cylinders are here filled with the brake fluid and most of the time when they fail it's basically you have a leak at your clutch pedal. If you remove this dust boot this is where it starts leaking, so you have in the cabin the leak and that's the reason for replacement. But this one was unusual fail, which I don't see so often, like the other one I just mentioned, and it was sneaky. And it made actually the owner think that her entire clutch is failing and she needs the clutch job which will be very very costly. In this case through the time the owner was losing the play in the clutch and the clutch was starting closer and closer to the floor. So she has to engage all the way to the floor and put the gear and that even with a small movement the clutch started grabbing. So she thought oh the clutch is done it will cost me a lot of money. Somebody try to adjust this push, uh, this push rod, the ending, once. You can see it here and they basically reached the ending and there was no more adjustment. Fortunately, she came to my shop and I was like, well, we have to first eliminate the cheap part or cheap repair which is basically 100 bucks, let's say, instead of clutch job, which can be easily $2,000. Of course, as you can imagine, it wasn't maintained properly. So when I opened the top, it was full of black dirt, like a mud. So I suspected, hmm, maybe it's plugged there. So I did a flush on it and it absolutely didn't help whatsoever and then I realized when I finally disconnected the hydraulic line right here that's the place where it's leaving this master and it's going towards to the clutch when I disconnected it and pushed on this push rod which you can see right now I don't want to spill on my camcorder or on you actually but when I observed when the fluid starts coming out from this hydraulic system, actually I realized that this is what it did, right? Started pushing on it and nothing, 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 nothing. And that at the very, very end, little bit, I'd be quiet. Yeah, it's not doing anymore because it's empty. But at the very end, there was just a little squirt. So it was moving just tiny amount of the brake fluid and that was it. The correct one, when you have brand new one, if you will fill it up and did this bench test, it will start coming out immediately because that's what's needed to operate that hydraulic clutch. So I knew it's not because the area here where the entry is was plugged by the dirt, I completely cleaned it anyway, but I knew it felt internally inside of this hydraulic system. This part, I think it was $65, $70, it's very cheap, there's definitely no reason to try to rebuild it or something. I just got a new one and it was replayed, replaced within two hours including waiting for the part and so on then bleeding the system and all the other stuff so we were able to save her from whatever i'm just shooting off the hip two thousand dollar for replacement entire clutch and at the end this will need to be replaced also we caught it fortunately and it was 
just this simple part. One of another signs of failure was when I removed this old contaminated fluid and that muddy stuff from the bottom, I tried to flush the system. It didn't want to let me. I used the pressure method and the fluid will not move towards to the slave cylinder. When I connected my vacuum to the slave cylinder and try to pull vacuum and move the new fluid through the system, it won't go. So it was all stuck right here in the hydraulic system. I'm happy I found time to film this for you and share this with you because someone in the future it might help you to do the better diagnose of your clutch system if you have similar trouble. Thank you for watching and have a great day my friend.